Hi there everyone, it's me, Lamer Gamer from Dragon Bloggers. I hope you're all doing well. Now today's unboxing is one that will rival things like the Amazon Fire Stick and various other media streaming devices like that. Now if you do like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can find me streaming both on Dragon Bloggers channel as well as my own. Now I've been given the Roku Express. So first of all, packaging. It comes in a nice well presented cardboard box showing on the back various bits like easy to set up 1080p display and stuff like that. It also says you can voice search using the mobile app and it also suggests that there's thousands of channels to try. So this could be quite a game changer. It is a very cost effective solution for this sort of thing as long as you have the subscription services. Now it says here on the side what's included in the box, the Roku Express, the remote with preset channel shortcut buttons, two AAA batteries, a high speed HDMI cable and a USB power cable. Okay, let's open it up. So straight out of the box we can see we have the remote. Um, the Roku streaming device is what I'm going to call it for this review and the AAA batteries. We're going to just put that down to the side a second. We also have the quick start guide. And I just dropped the cables. And we did have in this box both the cables, however they both fell out onto the floor. Here we go, we've got the, uh, the micro USB cable power and we've got the small HDMI cable. As you can see the HDMI cable isn't that long. I'll get some dimensions on that in a minute. Also, one thing if you are buying this to plug into a wall, you will need a little adapter to go from USB to, um, to a three pin or two pin socket, depending where you are in the world. The remote. So as you may be able to see on here, you've got Netflix, Google Play, Rakuten TV and Spotify. Um, you've also got your standard like user interface. I actually quite like this remote. It seems a lot more intuitive than the um, the Amazon Fire Stick remote, which doesn't have a lot of um, writing on it to tell you what's on it. It's also got this little like plasticky bit at the bottom, which I'm not overly keen on, but yeah. Okay, so if I take the back off, we can see that is where the batteries go. So I'm going to stick them in right now. Like it says, it needs two AAA batteries, which come supplied in this box. There we go. Batteries are in. Doesn't seem to be any light on it to indicate that you've pressed any buttons. So I'm sure when it's plugged in, you, it'll be quite responsive. But we'll see what happens when we plug it in. Put the back on. The remote is made of like plastic, but it's a television remote at the end of the day. It's got this little cover as well for the infrared bit front. We've taken it off because, uh, yeah. And then last, but by no means least, the Roku. I'm calling it Roku. I might be pronouncing it completely wrong, guys. We have the Roku Express unit itself right here. It has a little like thing on the front here saying point remote here. So that must be the point that uh, faces you when you're streaming the programs. Which I'm going to take the film off now. And then on the back we have a HDMI port and the micro USB port. As well as a small reset button. Apart from that it's, it sits nice and nice and small in the palm of my hand which means it's nice and easy to transport around wherever you're going so it could be a good option for traveling it also comes with this like sticky pad it looks like so if you want to stick it somewhere like if you have a permanent place for it then uh, that can stick on the bottom on this strip here but if i was to be using this i'd be using it to travel around like if i'm staying in hotels and stuff then i can plug this in use the wi-fi and there we go only downside of this I will say is that there is no hardwired cat5 input here so that if you do want faster speeds um, you will have to be reliant on the Wi-Fi of where you are so if you're in a hotel and the Wi-Fi is terrible then guess what you're gonna have a pretty bad time with this but apart from that let's uh, plug it in and see what it does What an interesting boot up noise. So we've just turned the unit on and this is what we can see. You can also see on the front of the unit a little dot that proves that it's powered up. And now we're into the let's get started menu. So we've got our remote. And I'm gonna press OK. OK, nice, looking for networks. Now you just have to find the right network to connect to. As you can see here as well, it is doing, it is loading something in the background, and every time you press the button, it does like a little, 
weird blink. So it is quite responsive. Okay, so now I've put the password in, hopefully correctly, it will connect. Okay, so it's now going to give me an update. And then we'll wait till this gets to 100% and then we'll continue. Now that update's hit 100%, it says do not turn off TV or disconnect power. Oh, looks like the Roku has reset itself. We're back into the Roku startup screen. By the way, that's the sun coming in through the outside. Auto detect display type, okay. Yes, the screen looks good. And now we need to activate the Roku player, which you have to do using the phone. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is head over to the website that it tells me to in the um, in the screen. I need to go to roku.com slash link. I now need to enter the code when it appears, hr6l. Submit. And then it asked me to go through advertising. I agree. Do you have a Roku account? No, I need to create one. It looks like you got to create a Roku account. Once you've started creating the account, it asks me about pin preferences. So this is a personal pin that I will use to verify purchases on the Roku account. So I'm going to set it to always require a pin. And then I'm going to type in the pin I need. You can also choose how to buy and rent movies on this service, which you'll have to do to create the account. Like it says here, no, Roku does not charge for activation or support. I'm gonna set it up to use PayPal. So you get to name it, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna call it Lamers Roku Express. Which room is the device located in? N nothing here that says Man Cave, so I'm gonna call it Man Cave. I've read and agreed to Roku's terms of use and then continue. So now it looks like I get to add the channels to my Roku device. So I'm going to add Disney Plus because I'm a Disney nut. Spotify Music. Let's add the things that it shows on the uh, on the controller, shall we? So I've got Spotify. There's something here called Raukutan TV. So I'm going to add that. It also tells me what current channels I have as well. So if I go edit here, I can add and remove different channels as well. Now I'm going to press continue. If I press continue, it might change the screen on here. So I'm just going to quickly get my phone ready. Hey, okay, recording. And it says you're done. All right, let's zoom back in on this then. It also tells me to download the Roku mobile app. Now it says on the screen, next to where I've just done that. Updating channels. So let's jump into this then. Releasing graphity locks, supercharging your system. For it's not like Stream Elements or Streamlabs when it does the uh, the whole uh, setting doggo petting engine and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Engaging warp drive. We'll come back when this is finished. And there we have it. It literally just went all done. So I'm guessing I need to grab my remote now and press right. What? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Right was good enough. Let's get you streaming. Here's a quick tour of your new Roku player. We'll start with your remote. Press home at any time to return to the home screen. Back always returns to the previous screen. And star shows additional options. Press this button while streaming to see the options menu. Press and hold the mic button on voice remotes or the free Roku mobile app to search for entertainment, control your streaming and more. Now let's check out your home menu. 
Visit streaming channels to find your favorites and discover new ones. Search to see where to stream things for free or at the lowest cost. And be sure to check out the Roku channel for more free entertainment. And that's it. Happy streaming. Okay, so this looks like my home screen. Let's uh, have a look. The one I'm interested in seeing is this Roku channel. What is the Roku channel? You're home for free TV. Interesting. Okay, let's try a random film. Let's try a Christmas Carol. So I can play this completely free, it looks like. Yep. And if I wanted to stop this, if I press back, it takes me back to that. If I press the home button, you take me back to home. Cool. Looks like you can use all your standard subscriptions like Disney Plus, uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video. You've all got the things like BBC iPlayer, you've got Spotify. Um, yeah, what's Rakuten TV? What is this? So this Rakuten TV, it looks like it's like another streaming service where you can pay for things like the Raya film that's just come out from Disney. You can buy it here for $19.99. You can watch the trailer as well, or you can find free things. If you look down at the bottom here, it says like free, free. All these are all free. So say for instance, I wanted to, I don't know, want to watch Shutter. I could actually play that right now. And there we are. We are uh, we are in watching Shutter. Although I think this might be a bit scary for me, so I'm gonna head back to the home page. Once again, like I said, there are these quick access buttons. So for instance, if you wanted to go to Spotify, press that button and it brings Spotify up straight away. So if you've got a Spotify account, then you can log in and use it, or you can sign up for free here. You don't have to pay for this service unless you want the premium features that come with it. You can also go to Netflix by pressing the Netflix button, it's here. There was some form of warning that popped up, but then it disappeared very quickly, so God knows what that means. And there we go. There's Netflix, guys. Uh, how do you turn this off is a good question. Uh, let's go home and see if I can figure it out. On low power devices, they're designed to remain on and always connected to the internet. There is no power button to press on or off. Okay. <laughs> Although Roku Tree players use very little power when not in use, you may still want the ability to power off manually. To do this without having to remove the power cable, just hit a connector. So basically, the only way to turn it off is to pull the cable out. It's a bit of a shame. Okay. I think we've got enough on this now. Okay, so we've had a look at the Roku or the Roku or however you're supposed to pronounce it, Express, which came in this box, really well packaged. So uh, let's go through the advantages and disadvantages of this product. The advantages, first of all, is definitely cost effective. It's a lot cheaper than some of the other brands out there, including the Amazon Fire Stick. Also, the remote is really handy and nifty, especially as it's got little like symbols on there. Whereas I know the Amazon Fire Stick doesn't have that like user friendly look. I also really like the feel of the buttons as well. It might be just a personal preference, but yeah, I really do like the feel of them. There's even like quick, quick click links on here for like Netflix and, and Google Play and stuff like that. Also, the size of it means that you can put it in your handbag, your backpack, your suitcase, and not have to worry about trying to carry it around a massive piece of equipment. It also works on Wi-Fi and it comes with all of the necessary cables, including the HDMI lead to be able to get you up and running. Also, another positive is that it gives you access to the majority of all the apps out there like Netflix, Amazon Video, Spotify. You can also add additional ones like you saw at the start of this video um, just to customize your home layout a bit more, which I think is really a really nice personal touch. It also comes with its own TV station, so it allows you to surf the internet quickly and find the best deals on the latest movies and stuff like that, as well as source free ones as well that you might not necessarily get on other popular brands. Now, the disadvantages of this device. The first one is, like I said before, there is no Cat5 plugin, 
so you can't do a hardwired internet connection so you're going to have to rely on your wi-fi signal like i said if you have a bad wi-fi signal in your house in the hotel or whatever then you are going to struggle with that the second disadvantage is that the cables aren't particularly long so if you're thinking you're going to be putting this as your main source of tv in your house then you need to probably reinvest in some longer cables Talking about power cables, the power cable itself doesn't come with a USB to mains adapter. So you're gonna to need to find a USB to mains adapter plug. And if you're like me and you've got a drawer full of gadgets that you never wanna throw out, full of things like that, then uh, this, is, this is the time that that drawer comes in really handy. There is a lot of branding involved in the Roku. Obviously it's a great product, but there's things like this that's like, is that really necessary? So yeah, you've got things like that that's sort of, you know, a bit annoying, but it's also something to fiddle with, I guess. If you like messing around with that but on the whole really nice product i really like it. it is definitely a competitor to things like the amazon fire stick and yeah i'd recommend picking it up for the price that it's going for at the moment and if you did like this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see all the new things that we here at dragon bloggers post you can also find me streaming regularly on twitch as well as the dragon bloggers channel but in the meantime you all take care and i'll see you online cheers